ask you a couple of other questions yeah uh one of them is uh chinese whispers because you make a point to talk about chinese whispers hadith the chinese whispers and we yeah. all had that where you say something whisper it in somebody's ear and then by the end of it it's something completely different Alhamdulillah, I've, I've had success with that one. I think, um, yeah. I, I don't hear it used as much anymore, but a long time ago, I don't know, like a decade ago, people were using it quite quite a bit. They'd see a lot of names in the chain, you know, like a lot, like like three, right? And they're like, oh, you know, <laughs> you know, so, hey, that, that looks like Chinese whispers to me. Um, and they compare the Chinese whispers where you have one person on one side, um whispering a sentence to the next the next person and you have 10 people down and then at the end um the the message is completely different and and then the person at the end shouts out the sentence and something completely different and we all have a good laugh um for those that aren't familiar there are youtube videos on chinese whispers and stuff like that and um subhanallah it's got nothing to do with hadith i mean one that's a game it's it's a children's game uh, if you if you and, and by the way like the kids playing that game um if they make a mistake i mean i mean excuse me kids in that game intentionally intentionally change the message because it's funny right in hadith in hadith if you if you intentionally change the message that's it for you. You're out of the game. You're no longer playing the game. You're, you're described as a liar. You're described as someone who's unreliable. That's it. Secondly, they aren't, they aren't whispers. They're heard. They're written. They're read. There's no comparison. But the simplest refutation to the whole Chinese whispers thing is if you have two strands, two lines from one person, and they're both hearing the whispers, yeah? Imagine that. Um... And uh, guys, give me a sentence. Give me a sentence. Um, CIA is fully in your mask. All right. Um, it's just a sentence I read in the, in the comments. If someone was to whisper CIA is fully in your mask um, down the line and, and it's whispered down a second line, if the person, if both people at the end say the exact same thing, if they both say CIA is fully in your mask, that means that they both got the same message right. Because what are the odds of them getting the same exact message? So that's what you have with Edmund Hadith. That's what we have with narrations. You have these different strands, lines of narrators. They're narrating the same message from the Prophet, peace be upon him. Not only that, you have them in different cities. You have a strand of narrators in Iraq. You have a strand of narrators in Medina. How, do, how does that make any sense? Yeah, that's just so that's a really good point, so, um, Fareed. Because I, I thought, I, I, I don't know, man, you hear it, you think, oh, that's a really good point, that's a really simple point. But what you said was, okay, if you got a, one line of, of people who are whispering something, that's one issue. But if you got two lines and they both come out at the end of the line saying exactly the same thing, you're thinking, hold on, that's not people making two mistakes, the line making mistakes, and suddenly result in that that's just improbable Im implausible it's more the case that the book were accurate and then you also make the point as well in the book which is that but it's not even chinese whispers anyway because what's happening is that each one is shouting out yeah what's being said so the other person can correct or other people around can correct what's being said so it's not just somebody whispering but rather people are being uh you know uh heard what's being said are the students who are who are studying from that particular teacher they're saying well hold on no this is the wording that's not the wording there would be corrections that's taking place in the actual uh, moment of time of transmission as well but if you've got like three or four of these types of lines now independent then you're thinking nah this must be this must be definitely what was said by the uh, by the particular individual or by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so i think you're right, Hamza, the Chinese whispers argument was a very uh, cogent argument that, would, that you made within...